you, you gotta you imagine the swing going this way like that. Swing, swing. So I'd swing in from Aboriginal world and I'd swing in. Kupul's done it and nobody, you know, <laughs> ever think about that man, you know, he's so beautiful but he's lost in that quagmire, you know, and um, I, we actually go back to the communities and then, hey, wait on, man, we wait there, <laughs> nothing happening. <laughs> the difference is in, in filmmaking is that when we do make films, Aboriginal actors are, uh, we, 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 we include you as a family. We, we are part of this family that we become part of, and it's really nice. We're all working together, you know. It's, we're doing what the government is saying. We're working together. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so the, <laughs> from groundwork from the bush to come in and to to learn. Now, my my best thing out of that is that I've learned from my people. I've really learned from my people. I've learned a lot of things from my. People. I've learned motor mechanics. I've learned how to, you know, travel in the communities and enjoy. And that was my school of knocks. And <laughs> it, it's a good place to dance. So when we we go back to the community, it's like we're going back empty-handed. We have pocket full of money, new cars, new shirt. I drove back to, uh, back to home to Mukur, where all my family is, and I parked my car at my cousin's place. I had, out of all the things I bought, I had one shirt left, and I stupidly washed it, and I hung it on the door of my car. And I, <laughs> and I fell asleep in this car. It was a Toyota sleeker and all that sort of thing, you know? Wake up. I look straight over at the campfire way over there, my cousin's campfire place, and my brother's got my shirt on. <laughs> the only shirt left. <laughs> You know, these are the things we work from. It's good to exchange. The most beautiful thing we can do together is exchange. No matter what we do. I love my culture, you love your culture. I want to steal from your culture too. And there's stories in your culture that are similar to mine. And that's what I've learned, you know. I live in a beautiful country, eh? I have all these tragedies, but I learned to keep on dancing. Uh, and it's, it's a precious place to be. It's one of the best offerings that I have ever had in my life. I was happy being a motor mechanic. I could handle Detroit diesels and, you know, GM hates and all that. White fellow magic, touch the button. <laughs> <laughs> That's quality of life in all sorts. Like I put down. The, the film world, well, um, You've got to learn about a lot of things. I learned, it's been my schooling place. Mm. It's been my schooling place where I learn about politics. I learn about, you know, issues. I learn about discriminations. I learn about all these things in social events every day of my life. And, and what the film industry does is give me a voice to stand. I'll tell you a beautiful story. Leave all that sort of thing. I drive all the way from the territory. I've just finished Robbery on the Rounds. And I've gone and bought a V8 Ford and I drove into Queensland, right up to Croydon, near Georgetown. And in those days I drank. I drank a lot. <laughs> Party time. <laughs> and uh, I got to Croydon. I was dusty, red haired, and a friend was there, and, and I had a pair of shorts and a singlet. And I needed a beer and I drove into this bar. And the bar was full of white balls. <laughs> And as I walked in, there was a sign saying, Blackfellas over there, Whitefellas here. And they all stopped and looked at me like this, silently. Uh, whoa, what did I walk into? <laughs> Hornet's nest, come on. <laughs> I didn't stop. I went up to the bar and asked the bartender for a beer. And he gave it to me. And he walked away. I skulled that one down. My friend came in and I said, another two more beer, please, man. He looked at me, he got the glasses, you know. Everybody's still watching, fill it to Bring it back to me, put it on the table. And, and I'm holding the $10 note like this. It was cheap. <laughs> <laughs> and I said to the bloke, this is a real blue $10 note, you know, please take it, yeah? He looked at me and he says, Mr. Lewis, everything's on the house. 
<laughs> That's what these people give him. <laughs> free beers, free things, free drinks, free hospitalities, free doors, free swing swing. You know? <laughs> I can swing. But, you know, um, too much celebrations, I got sick. Uh, um, I last drank in England with all the English people about 13 years ago. And, um, you got to learn all that sort of stuff. Too. No, we don't tell you about those sort of things, you know. Issues, being socialized, and understanding, and poisons, and all these sort of things, mm. yeah? So, and, 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 and uh, our country is not like Dollywood, you know. Our country is not like the American. To be an artist in this country, you've got to have a good family. <laughs> I love my auntie. Where are you? <laughs> you know, um, we're not all Nicole Kidman and Mel Gibson and all that. But there's some fine, good actors in the country. You know, I salute to people like Ruth Cracknell. You know, and, 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 and you can demonstrate all day and I can drop your names all day. You know, you know all these people. John Hargraves and, you know, everybody like that. And these people become families of mine. So I have families in the white world, excuse me, I don't discriminate, but I'll use it. And I, um, I've got family at home, you know? And uh, I, I, I like what it taught me, is that I can enjoy them. <laughs>